Now, what is it we're on? Can you do it quickly? Try it quickly. Oh, shit, I didn't say say it quickly. I meant do that. Ted, here's my point. Nero burned up all of Rome, leaving no street with a home. What a fiery feast so rare. I once met the man who wrote them. With ignition advanced, how those citizens danced to a life in the open air. He said I'd got no idea what they meant. <laughs> he said I used to take it up after a bad dream and I'd write them all out, they'll be fine. And there, was, there were so many twists and turns, it was like being in a maze. I've got to go now, Ted. I'm breaking these legs in for a seagull. <laughs> Not the ostrich, is it? <laughs> oh, Bernie right, Clifton, man. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Bernie. Um, it's such a privilege, actually, to be back in the building because it, in many ways it defined our early careers. Me and hundreds, dozens and dozens and dozens of club acts because we were all employed by Yorkshire Television. We all came to this building. We were all extras in whatever was going on. It might have been a courtroom scene. Uh, we were all turns. Happy, happy days. <laughs> It's Joker's Wild. And keeping them in line, it's Barry Cryer. <laughs> <laughs> Interruption by John Cleese. Do you know Les's joke, John? He's telling a joke, is he? I thought he was reminiscing. <laughs> um... There was comedy coming at you from all angles on Kirkstall Road. Legendary John Cleese was just one of hundreds of comedians and actors who graced the Yorkshire studios. One, though, really did make it his home. The weather deteriorates. <laughs> it's turning to mud. <laughs> Lovely Les. Of course, you'd think of this building and you think of Les, don't you? He made this place his home, didn't he? Well, I, I, as a fellow Lancastrian to Les, as uh, our mutual friend Mike Craig used to say, just over here on missionary work. What's it to be there? The white flag or do we go down fighting? We go down fighting, sir. That's the spirit, Dawson. Come for this, you big git. <laughs> Why TV, Rooksby, part one, take one. Rooksby became Rigsby, and Rising Damp became YTV's first big sitcom. Uh, Rigsby, eh? I think you've got the wrong one. <laughs> Thought it felt different. Oh, my God, it's got me. Oh, yes. Actor Don Warrington, who played Philip in the show, returned to Kirksell Road two years ago to reminisce about his time at YTV for a special documentary. I remember I'm meeting Les Dawson, a very funny man. We would sit with him and he'd just tell me lots of jokes, which was very funny. He made me laugh. You're not a company director, you're not early 40s, you're not cultured, and you're not sophisticated. Nobody's perfect. When the comedy worked, you just couldn't stop laughing. You just couldn't get through the scene because it was just, it was funny. I'm afraid there's something of the Philistine about you, Mr. Rigsby. It's very nice of you, Mr. Jim. <laughs> so many followed in its footsteps that you could almost lose count of the talent that came in and out of the doors at Yorkshire Television. There was Keith Barron and Gwen Taylor in Duty Free. That's the point we'll be able to relax, get away from it all. I've been looking at you, Amy. Have you? Yes. I wish I'd known I'd have had my hair done. Gwen Taylor again with David Jason in a bit of a do. Well, I'd love to skip it. I can't. I mean, it's my son's wedding. And a stellar lineup in Only When I Laugh. Cigarette. Should I, before an operation? Go on, take it. They won't mind. I can't possibly resign, Adam. They're tipping me to become the next chance of the exchequer. Yorkshire also had great success with Rick Mayle's award-winning New Statesman before attracting the daddy of them all to the Leeds studios. It's Bruce's Price is Right! Uh, Mr Showbiz. Oh, a crowd. Oh, I didn't see you there. Ha! <laughs> wonder. Look at him. Oh, show off. <laughs> you know, the total of your winnings tonight are 21,260. How about it, Charlie? Oh, look out, there's another one. <laughs> you have that gift in the, of, of translating or transferring uh, the commonplace into another area altogether. I mean, it's just a daft, silly game show, you know, and that's what he did for most of his life. 
But it gave me such enthusiasm and such skill. And so the only way he could be as good as he was, doing what he, what he did, and he was the best, was by actually treating it seriously. By actually understanding the show, the mechanics of the show, the way it worked, then you could build all the humour around it. He was the best at that, and, and also he was one guy who really learned how to come through that screen at the audience. And he was a genius of broadcasting. Remember, Bruce's price is always right. See you next week. Good night. Be there. Be there.